Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. At the 12 o'clock location, we have Jiraiya starting as the Green Zerg bottom right-hand corner. We have Exit starting as the Black Terran. This is BSL Season 13. I wanted to say 16 for a second. Round of 16. Group A, and I'm going to call this the Group of Death. I, I haven't checked out the other groups, but you got Kiko and Master Ray on the other side of the bracket. Exit, Chobo League champion from last year, and Jiraiya is no joke as well. If you have not seen uh, Jiraiya out there, uh, go ahead and check out his Twitch channel, which I think is I'm Jiraiya as well. I'll have to double check that. Uh, but he, I've seen him playing around with uh, kind of the mullet, I don't know, kind of that mullet bracket grouping where it's like machine, mullet, uh, occasionally an Iokan. He's, he's a strong player. Um, haven't caught him laddering as much. But point being, I know he is a competent Zerg. And Exit, I feel like, struggled in his... I mean, he he ended up winning the match, so I'm not sure if I can say struggle, but he did show a moment of weakness in the round of 32 in his uh, versus Zerg play. Specifically, it looked like he was going for that early engineering bay play, and he just wasn't keeping up, I think, with his macro to have sufficient amount of marines to really capitalize on having that plus one weapons. I feel like it's a really strong opener, particularly against the two hatch play that you see more often with Zerg these days. But that being said, you really need to execute on it well in order to survive early. Also, tends to play better on maps where you can have that front door seal, which it looks like Exit's not doing, and that was kind of a flaw, I believe, in that match as well. Because otherwise, sometimes early Zerglings can uh, ruin your day. It looks like we're seeing a 12th hatch from Jiraiya. He is scouting with this Overlord to the left-hand base first. Let's see if he sends out a drone scout to go ahead and scoot things in. It looks like that drone scout is making its way out now. SEV scout for Exit is going to get into his 12th o'clock base immediately. And it, yeah, so... Exit not going for any sort of front door seal. It looks like he's just kind of building uh, the barracks alongside in this instance. I'm actually kind of curious uh, as far as the decision making along this. This is a little bit harder uh, a front to seal at the bottom right hand corner. And Ascension, this is the thing. It's Again, it's the remake of Blue Storm. I feel like there's just a lot you can do on this map as the more aggressive... How do I put this? So Zerg tends to be the more the aggressor early both directions and exit actually going for a racks into command center build so perhaps that was the decision making of keeping this barracks back now he's getting a, a marine produce this drone trying to do some harassment on this scv but yeah just going racks saving up going for command center afterwards he's going to be able to pull this off because he did go uh hatchery first we do have the extractor morphing a spawning pool behind this and a supply depot now being built alongside. So this is interesting. So it looks like Exit's just going to kind of build a little bit of a, a staggered wall. But I like what Exit's decision making. He kind of pooled those minerals, went up, saw the 12th hatch. And the moment he saw that 12th hatch, he decided to plop down that 14 command center. So nice adjustment. He's dropped that refinery. And they'll see if he goes for that engineering bay build once again. He's actually building academy first. And at an interesting spot, I, I think it needed to be... I'm, this I may need, need to be corrected on this, but I think it needs to be one to the left, actually, to give the bonus gas. We'll, we'll see, though. Exit's an amazing player, so he might know better than I do. But we'll have to see once that starts producing two Marines alongside, just in case uh, some Zerglings we're going to try to do sneak by. We do have two Zerglings making their way towards the front. It looks like this is a two-hatch layer play thus far. However, Jiraiya sending out that third drone a little bit earlier than usual, potentially to go cap a additional base out in the field. I think these two Zerglings are mostly there for scouting purposes. SCV transfer that natural expansion, so a nice economic leap. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, it looks like this actually is the right position to go ahead and uh, do that seal. The Zerglings running up, both of them dying, and it looks like they only got a single swipe on this forward marine. So still no second gas capped for exit. So it looks like it, and he's going for, yeah, more of a standard. I think this is going to be the standard, like, two barracks, uh, stim, uh, range, a little bit later, weapons one, which is going to put him... In a little bit slower defensive position. So this is looking more like a, I don't know, the second era standard. And Jiraiya is grabbing this third base at the 9 o'clock location. But despite opening up kind of the two-hatch layer build, he's opting for a, a, a Hydralis Den. And he's going to go Lurker to follow this up. And I really like Lurker play on Ascension in particular. Because you can see where this high ground, where you can sneak the Lurkers down, can play out as... Uh, a potential, ooh, this is unfortunate for Exit. He's actually evacuated his natural expansion with some Marines and a Medic. He's doing kind of a half push forward, but he's going to get caught with his pants down. Well, maybe he won't because Jiraiya's Zerglings are split here. 
Maybe he can still get a surround with this, stimming forward, and this is kind of an interesting timing for Exit to go ahead and pressure this front door, a creep colony being planted in an emergency. But honestly, Jiraiya and a couple Zerglings going to engage behind this. It looks like they are going to get a Marine kill as far as reinforcements go. The Marines still pressing forward. They're getting caught at the gap behind this, just a little bit too spread out. So the Zerglings are going to save what was going to be kind of a, what looked like a staggered bust. But Jiraiya losing all of his forward Zerglings on the field. And as far as doing a Lurker bust, I think he was hoping uh, to get more out of that. This Overlord has to feel... That's a lucky Overlord that's going to escape with his life. In the meantime, Lurker Tech about halfway finished. Some additional Zerglings have been created. Double Sunken Colonies down. So Jiraiya is going to have to get aggressive as far as a follow-up. This Overlord, uh, I think that's protected on that corner. But here's the thing. If you can get Lurkers in this gap here, or even Lurkers on this high ground, you can end up in a situation where you're containing the Terran, or even hold position Lurker here. Absolutely brutal. I think Exit may... Yeah, okay. He's definitely scouted the Hydralis Den, so he knows Lurkers are out there. So it looks like he wants to go ahead and press forward with a skeleton crew of Medic Marines to try to keep those Lurkers a little bit back. Here's the thing with Lurkers trying to defend this 9 o'clock base, that's going to be a feat because there's just a lot of territory that these Lurkers need to cover to try to defend it. The Zerglings have snuck through. It looks like a single Zergling is going to try to maybe walk into the natural expansion. A bunker is down. Exit's probably going to even maybe want to add a second bunker because if Lurkers get in your natural expansion, that could be it. The, this is a small medic marine force to try to threaten this front door. It looks like they're going to try to peel. Wow, while the lur lurkers are morphing, this is a brave play. S managed to pick one of them off but and actually take a drone out. So even with a teeny attack force here, Exit finding a pocket. He's going to end up losing these marines and medics. But this is definitely keeping Jiraiya in a more defensive posture. Jiraiya is still doing a great job droning up. I'm not sure that Exit's kept up with his SEV macro. Uh, behind this because it's still 26 drones to uh, 30 comparatively this third base is up he's grabbing that gas and here's the thing while Jiraiya's or sorry while Exit's been sending out a lot of these pocket attack forces he hasn't been halting or th really even threatening this nine o'clock base so this third gas looks like it's going to get up without too much trouble it's straight lurkers to hive tech I like what Exit's doing realizing the potential of lurkers to get on this high ground the threat that they uh, that they can pose so he's going to go uh, already plant a missile turret on the high ground to provide detection there he's also got a missile turret at his natural expansion he's waiting for a bust but Jiraiya in the meantime is not planning on busting he's in a very defensive stance he's already adding additional hatchery so this is going to be what four hatch kind of a four hatch into hive he's got three gas he's also been he's played it rather gas light he's had these lurkers in more of a defensive posture it looks like he's moving the lurkers to the nine o'clock base to go to go ahead and play there and exit I'm not sure that he's kept up with his macro uh, to really threaten anything that Jiraiya is doing. Jiraiya about even in supply. It managed to pick off an Overlord right there. So small wins overall. Still at three barracks. He's adding some Vultures in. I like the Vultures planning mines to deal uh, potential. Actually, he's going to go Vulture Drop. I love Vulture Drop on this map, actually. Getting that Science Facility up as well. He's going to need uh, the detection. But I actually like the mines out in uh, general field to deal with Lurkers. Because Lurkers still have to walk on the ground to get places. Level 1 weapons coming online. Uh, which feels very, very late. These are also going to be speed vultures. And so they might actually be able to get an immense amount of kills. Let's see if Jiraiya is going to be able to spot it. He does have... I like Jiraiya's vision. Even with the Zerglings. And I think these are hold position lurkers in the middle of the map. The dropships can obviously completely skip that threat. But yeah, just a handful of vultures here. And it looks like three marines and a medic. So exit opting to be very, very aggressive. Supply capped himself once again. He needs to keep up with this macro... Uh, to stay relevant, honestly, in this match because his third gas is up, and I feel like he's just kind of working against the clock. Hive Tech is up. I'm looking for the Defiler Mount. Looks like it's the natural expansion, so he's in a good position. And I'm concerned about his ability to stay up with because this is a double evolution chamber. He's only got level one weapons, and Carapace One is not that uh, far away. It looks like this dropship has managed to sneak behind, so this could be the difference in the match. Nothing defending here at the main. There's looks like a single lurker that's going to have to reposition, and that single lurker is not going to be sufficient, I think, to deal with everything that's being dropped off. So lurkers, marines, and medics, or sorry, vultures, marines, and medics going up against a single lurker that's in the gas line, but this is a lot of drones that, are going to get, that could potentially be exposed in the midst of this, and if exit presses forward into these lurkers in the meantime, it could be a fun two-pronged attack that uh, could do some bonus. Never mind. He's just going to load up everything. So he wants to go for a killing blow in the midst of this. 
Does Jiraiya, is Jiraiya going to see it? It looks like he's just going straight. No, okay, there he saw the science vessel with that overlord. So dropping there, let's see how Jiraiya responds. He's getting on top of the drones. Some zerglings are coming into this position, but those zerglings are not going to be sufficient. These lurkers are what are what's going to have to come up. Consume is not done. Working on that evolution chamber, this is going to be a critical pickoff. If he can pick off that evolution chamber before level one weapons, it's going to even things up quite a bit. Yes, so we're not going to see uh, the turn the zergling melee upgrade is not going to finish. He's also going to get the spawning pool. So big wins here for exit, really slowing down the economy. The vulture is going to the north. And also getting some damage. So despite momentarily being behind economically, he's now evening things up by getting a lot of drone kills, stopping, a, halting a lot of this tech. And that's going to buy exit some critical time to go ahead and macro and get a lot of additional supply. Moving forward and doing a good job of, of dancing backwards. More lurkers. This one's going to get picked off to the right. Going to be able to pick off another lurker. Great micro from exit in the main. He is just getting... This has been the drop that his... Not just an incredible initial damage, it just keeps giving and giving and giving. Looks like he's going to go for the Queen's Nest as well. Is now working on the Hive while these Lurkers are somewhat out of position. Some more, it looks like some Marines uh, potentially misrallied, going to scoot up. But Exit really putting on a clinic here with this base. And so Consume's done, maybe the Filer could come and clean the rest of this up and make the, the Lurkers job a little bit easier. Jirai having a lot of trouble defending this. They're trying to, they're pinned in, so there's... The Sunken Colony's here. He's moving around. It looks like he's going to get the Hydralis Den as well. Finally, a Dark Swarm drop, but not before the Hydra Den goes down, an Evolution Chamber goes down, and the Spawning Pool's taken out. Finally, it looks like going to be able to clean up the rest of this uh, attack, but Exit, wow, that was a golden drop. And he has built a decent-sized army behind this. Jiraiya is still keeping up with his macro, however. He's got that 9 o'clock base. It looks like he's got a Nidus Canal in between. He's got an Ultralis Cavern planted, so that's a decent trade. Overall, it looks like he managed to get a second spawning pool at his natural expansion. Carapace 1, I believe, is online. And this is one thing. Exit's further behind in upgrades than he should be uh, in the midst of this. So I, I feel like Exit's done a fantastic job attacking and uh, really pushing things up. But he's these medic marines are a little bit softer than they, they would be otherwise. Second engineering bay just being built. Weapons 2 just coming online. Another drop starting to, to filter out. And keep in mind, there's no spire to get Scourge out to deal with these dropships. So I, I like that play from Exit. So we're going to get another drop into the main, keeping Jiraiya very much on the defensive. He's starting to cycle around. Is he going to... Now the question is, is does it go to the 9? It looks like he's trying to cycle around to get some sort of attack this direction, losing a lot of Medic Marines in that. Stimming forward, again going to Assault. Looks like the Queen's in. The Firebats running forward, going to suicide a little bit, uh, trying to micro in two locations. And it looks like trying to micro in two locations... He's going to end up losing both armies. So Jiraiya defending pretty well. Still loses a handful of drones in the main, but Jiraiya cleaning that up shortly. So Jiraiya started... So despite all of the harassment that Exit's done, Jiraiya's actually ahead in supply. He's keeping up with the macro. He's uh, really mitigated a lot of the damage. But critically, I feel like with this Carapace 2 upgrade uh, coming online shortly, he's in a strong position with that Ultralisk upgrade as far as the follow-up. If he can get enough gas and a couple of Ultralisks on the field... I'm very concerned about Exit's ability to secure his own third and stay irrelevant in this match. He's going to go ahead and try to take another command center. Zergling's flooding forward for Jiraiya in the natural expansion. Firebat, so the bunker is there. These Zerglings, I'm not sure what they're going to get, get accomplished. And Irradiate, there are all sorts of lurkers here as well, but science vessels in huge numbers are radiating absolutely everything. So Jiraiya doing exits work for him. Usually you have to get the Medic Marines in position to drop these irradiates, but Jiraiya pressing forward with these lurkers and with these lings, and exits like, okay, you come to me, I'm just going to irradiate everything. Uh, I'm just going to irradiate the bejesus out of you. However, with that attack, a single Medic has managed to sneak in and scout uh, this fourth base. This is going to be what, five base Zerg, not fully operational yet, but five base Zerg versus two base Terran which could be a danger, but Jiraiya, keep in mind, just expended an immense amount of forces. He needs to get these Ultralisks out in a hurry with Defiler support to deal with the Medic Marines and Firebats that are out in the field. And plus, you've got a lot of Science Vessels. Exit's done a fantastic job of at least getting that Science Vessel count up and high, cleaning up a lot of these troops uh, behind this, but he really needs to spend the minerals he's got uh, stashed to make sure he keeps that leap in supply and he needs to take out a base, slow Jiraiya's economy down. Jiraiya grabbing yet another expansion in the bottom left. A couple Ultralisks starting to field here. The Zerglings, let's see if they can group up with it. 
exit. Certainly going to be able to force. Well, is he going to force a cancel? I'm wondering if there's going to be a cancel right here. Some lurkers coming in. He's going to skip this hatchery. That hatchery is going to finish. The lurker is dropping. They're going to cut off reinforcements. So going to be able to deal with a lot of that. Some Zerglings going to deal with the Marines that flooded through. Exit losing a huge amount. Didn't have the science vessels with this attack force. Is losing a lot as a result. A Wraith out of nowhere because there's no Spire sneaking up and taking out an Overlord. That's going to put Jiraiya, maybe two Overlords, putting Jiraiya in the red. But he's got a lot of Ultralisk. He's got a lot of Zerglings. And I assume he's got a Defiler somewhere in the midst of this uh, to go ahead and repel. Honestly, I don't think... I, I'm going to say repel what? The second attack force? that exits just now fielding however looks like he's he snuck in some siege tanks this is a very dangerous transition uh for exit and he's still working on level three weapons he still does not have any armor upgrades behind this and this is a lot of ultralists they're going to start pushing in there are some mines in the way the zerglings tend to clear those mines rather rapidly the zerglings getting up there the defiler has been irradiated is he going to be able to drop us so dropping a Swarm, but it's not on top of the siege tanks for the rest of these fire bats. The ultralists pushing up. The ultralists do not care about these fire bats. Pressing into the rest of the tanks. Does Dry now? Here's the secondary question: Does Dry have a follow up to this? He's got all of his ultralists dedicated to the front. He's going to clear out the rest of Exit's army. Can he crash in and take out this base that's nearby before Exit's able to field some reinforcements? A hydralisk in the midst of this. The lurkers starting to press forward on the high ground. Exit with some fire bats and some marines down below. A siege tank, not siege, following up. And it looks like, yeah, that base is breached. Exit, knowing he's not going to be able to hold that, know that he's not knowing that he's not going to be able to keep up economically. So exit with some nice shenanigans all over the map. But uh Jiraiya able to just out macro his opponent, get a sizable army, and get lurkers out to that three o'clock location. So exit gonna go to the losers bracket where he will face the winner of Master Ray versus Kiko, which is going to be an intense match, which I'm going to do momentarily. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.